Okay, today we're pretty much done a lot of our technical steps. What we need to do is set the clearance between the ignition coil and the flywheel. The flywheel is a rotating part, could be moving as high as two or 3,000 RPM, and we can't have it contacting the coil. The spec for this engine calls for 16 thousandths of an inch, 0 0.016 of an inch gap. So it's gonna be the thickness of this feeler gauge is that's how close it's gonna to be to the flywheel. Okay, so this is pretty important. So I'm gonna put the feeler gauge in place. I'm gonna push the coil down against the feeler gauge and then I'm gonna snug up the bolt. I'm gonna to have to do the same thing to the bottom side of the coil. When you tighten your one bolt too much though, you can't move the other side of the coil. So I'm gonna slowly back off the bolt so I can move the other side of the coil. If I do this step wrong, and I have too much clearance, the magnet can't induce voltage in the coil and I'll have no spark. If my gap is too close, the flywheel can contact the coil and rip it up, tear it up. Okay, so the clearance is supposed to be 0 0.016 of an inch, plus or minus eight thousandths of an inch. So our number could be as small as eight or as big as 24 thousandths of an inch. I'm gonna to torque the bolt. We looked it up to 6.6 .6 foot pounds. Again, this would be one reason why you might put your engine together and have no spark. So we're gonna to try to eliminate that. McDonald's drive through can I take your order? Went a little high, 6.88. I think I'm okay with that. Those tightened pretty quick on me. Gonna check my clearance one more time. Feeler gauge fit, fit, fits pretty tight there. It's maybe a little bit much on the bottom. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna turn my engine over and make sure that it doesn't uh, contact the flywheel anywhere. Okay, I'm gonna go off camera now and zap some students with the spark plug, but uh, thanks for watching, have a good one.